A crime alert at five after a deadly weekend across the Carolinas. Tonight, police investigating four murders in less than 24 hours. Those shootings happening in Concord, Rock Hill, Pageland, and Charlotte. And right now, several murder suspects remain on the loose. NBC Charlotte's Alex Shabad live for us tonight at five. And Alex, uh, police were busy this weekend. That's right, Fred. We just got back from the first murder scene, which is about an hour from here in Chesterfield County. And tragically, it didn't end there. From Charlotte to Rock Hill, Concord to Pageland, murder scenes stretching across the Carolinas. He's a good boy. He ain't no trouble. He's not no game, ain't nothing. Aisha Pate says she was right there as her 18-year-old nephew, Tobias Pate, was gunned down at this Pageland home. When I see my nephew bleeding, I like I went to a panic attack. I ain't knew what to do. Police say the shooting happened around five Saturday evening. Multiple subjects that came to that location, got involved in a confrontation, and multiple shots had been fired. By Sunday morning, three more murders around the Charlotte area. The first at around 1.30 a.m. in Concord. Police say three people were shot when a large fight broke out during a party. 31-year-old Willie Peck died from his injuries. Then just eight hours later, a frantic call to dispatchers from a grandmother in North Charlotte. 3935 Harlow Road for a 20-year-old male not breathing. Police say her 20-year-old grandson, Justin Miller, was shot and killed. Caller's not capable of doing CPR. She's elderly, physically on his face, and his back's not moving. Then a fourth murder in Rock Hill at around 11.40 Sunday morning. Police say 32-year-old Terrence Williams was shot and killed on Selenese Road. Back in Pageland. He a people person. He little people. 22-year-old Quintavious Lockhart charged in her nephew's murder. And the chief says more arrests are possible. And, it just and, it was death. and we should point out that the four murders in the Charlotte area are not connected. Right now, Rock Hill police are looking for a person of interest in their case, but they haven't released any other information about that person at this point. So far, no other arrests in the murders. Live at CMPD, Alex Shabad, NBC Charlotte.